there's a level of frustration because you know I think the the game of soccer is so good when there's a good flow to the game, there's a good honesty, there's good integrity about two teams battling. And I just uh, you know felt like in that game it was hard with a lot of the other issues we were dealing with in terms of playing well uh, that we also had to deal with um, you know just uh, small things that really popped up quite a bit. Uh, you'd like the referee to take a deep breath and get control of the game by you know making sure that say hey let's play some soccer out here. Let's not do the little stuff which uh, you know creates the bad side of the game in terms of time wasting, faking injuries, you know things that uh, I think still need to be cleaned up in this game. I always talk about trying to respond well to the adversity of when the referee's poor and trying to figure out a way to make the next play better. Um, but again, certainly when the referee starts making bad calls, the guys have to play off of how the referee is calling the game. And uh, you know, the stress uh, tends to build up when the trust isn't there between either team and the referee. And to me, that does affect uh, you know the overall game. It was uh, a really good goal by them. You know, again, I, we worked really hard the day before on both sides of the ball on set pieces and really, uh, you know, sharpening it up. And unfortunately, um, you know, we try to keep our line really high on those so Matt has enough room if the ball's not served well to come out and get it. And also to have our guys have a chance to really mark well and then follow guys. And between the ball being sent in, that was a really good ball, and, and the marking, it just wasn't good enough. And the reality is we played really well up to that point. It was almost their first chance of the game, but that's the way the game goes. It's tough. It was late in the game. We were pushing guys forward to try to get a goal to get back in the game, and you know he got caught in a one-on-one -on -one situation. And you know if I'm giving advice to any defender, and I think Kyle would say the same thing, you really tend to get in trouble when you let balls bounce. So even if it has to be ugly, you have to kick it out. You have to you know shank it into the stands or something. It's probably better to do that than let that ball bounce. Once that ball bounces, um, you know I, I still think it was a foul and a couple of hand balls, but unfortunately the ref didn't call it, and that kind of led to the play of put in there. I think there's been some great individual moments in this first half of the season. There's been some great drama. There's some great uh, moments where I thought we played really well. From Simone's early great start to the season to, you know, Pablo's strong play late, uh, you know, to Matt Van uh, you know, play. I think there's some exciting stuff. Certainly, I'm excited and the team is excited to address ways to get better. And I think the thing is we have some nice pieces. I think we're going to be healthier this second half of the season. Um, I think we know each other a little bit more as a group and we can be a little more honest about what needs to be done to get results. So we gave the guys, uh, you know, the six days off. So we come back in on this Friday, uh, the 12th, and then uh, we'll have some good hard days of training leading up to the 17th. We have an exhibition game against SV Edmonton up at Blaine. So, you know, very quickly we're back at it, fast and furious. You know, we are obviously going to, you know, kind of look at it like a mini preseason. So we have to really address getting better in a lot of ways, both from a fitness standpoint, technical, tactical. Um, and even bringing some new guys in and, and trying to see if some fresh faces can help us uh, you know, identify some areas where we can get better. So you know, we want to get back out there and fight and battle for this club.